Hvornår skete det her? Hvornår skete det her? Hvornår skete det her? Hvornår skete det her? Does that mean when did this happen in Dutch? What's up, boys, and welcome to an episode that I bet many of you guys didn't think was ever gonna happen. A lot of you guys, some of you guys requested it. 86 record breaker Robert Skov, aka the best card in FIFA that you don't know about. This flew under the radar. EA's Twitter didn't announce this. If you were if you were paying attention to Foothead, that is probably one of the only ways that you would know uh, that this card actually exists. He broke the record in the Danish Superliga, so congratulations, all my FC Copenhagen, and I, FC Copenhagen, I believe is who he plays for. Congratulations to them. I believe they won the league as well, but he has himself, like I said, 29 goals, which broke the previous record of 28 for a single season goal tally. Uh, and he did it at just 22 years old. This guy's absolutely crazy. Sorry, 23 years old. His birthday's May 20th, 1996. So his name is Robert Faxkov. Uh, so his middle name is Fax. That's kind of cool. Fapping is kind of something I want to do when I see this card. <laughs> You're good. We're going to be looking at his 86 record breaker card. If this epi helps you figure out if maybe you want to put a, put together some sort of Danish hybrid Super League type thing. We got another couple. Uh, there's a couple other legends slash icons in this squad builder that you guys w might remember from previous FIFAs. And no, it is not the Lord himself. I decided to uh, sneak in a guy that you guys might not know about, but he does have quite a bit of history in FIFA in his own right. If this helped you out in any way, drop a cheeky like in this video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. 69,000 coins is what it costs. Three star, three star. There's something that EA have against Danish players. When you got Danish attackers, the EA just think to themselves, you know what? We got to give them three star, three star. That just sounds about right. I'm just hoping. I know Kasper Dolberg has what? Dolberg has four star weak foot, but I believe he has three star skill moves as well. Yusuf Poulsen, you know he's going to make his way into the squad, but let's take a quick look at the stats. 120 total in-game stat upgrade over his 82 inform card uh, has a couple special cards because obviously along across the course of the year he's banged in quite a few goals uh, to the tune of 29 like I said in the Superliga yeah, I'm trying to think of all the other guys Abdul Razak Hamdala and then this guy and then are there any other record breaker cards I'm surprised that we haven't gotten more but hopefully throughout the year they, I mean like honestly I just love these uh, I love these smaller types of cards these kind of guys that fly under the radar um, Robert Skov if we do get ourselves a Super League team of the season or a rest of the world team of the season, I would imagine he'd probably get one as well. So this would be a pretty nasty card. 91, 92, I would imagine at least. So uh, his card rating though, 85 finishing. If we look at him from a, uh, if we look at him from a striker positioning, he's only got 78 composure, which leaves a little bit to be desired there. Agility and dribbling stats are pretty decent. Reactions are kind of mess. So I'm going to be very interested to see how he plays on the ball and how he reacts to the ball coming towards him. 92 stamina, 82 strength. That's uh, at least the stamina is elite level. 82 strength is fine. 86 aggression will be interesting to see how that factors into his card uh, and then 90 acceleration and 90 sprint speed so a very clean combo of acceleration and sprint speed not gonna adjust that at all sniper made sense for me uh, like I said because we want to get his dribbling stats up he's gonna go up to 99 agility and he's gonna go up to 95 98 finishing as well as 92 attacking positioning with the uh, with the sniper attached penalty he doesn't have a great uh, doesn't have great penalties but apparently this guy is incredible at uh, at free kick so he's got 92 free kick accuracy apparently he scored a lot of those in his campaign for the Superliga uh, so that uh, that stat uh, looks quite accurate. 85 short passing and 80 long passing, as well as 97 curves. So looks like he's he looks like he's better suited as a wide player and not a guy that you would play in the middle. But he does have 92 long shots, 99 shot power, and like I said, we did put together a squad with a couple of the famous uh, Denmark players in FIFA 19. We've got Thomas Delaney who matches his league SPC rating. We've got Falk Jensen. You guys will remember this guy from FIFA, uh, previous FIFA's past. 74 rated Falk Jensen, one of the best silver cards in FIFA four star four star and then look at some of these stats very decent dribbling stats doesn't really do anything great but has nice pace 86 acceleration 85 sprint speed with 87 stamina use of pulse and you guys know that I love use of pulse and it was absolutely destroyed to find out that he wasn't going to get himself a team of the season card but we are going to get into a couple matches here let's get into match number one let's see if this Robert Faxkov is worth the 69,000 coins is he better than that is he worse than that los gates Oh, Wizard of Ozil. I actually respect that, dude. He, not only does he have Podolski, not only does he have Poldi up at striker, not only does he have Player of the Month King Kai Havertz, not only does he have Nico Schultz, not only does he have Jonathan Ta, but he's got Allison. he's got a couple channel favorites. I wonder what the chances are that we get a message from this guy after the match. The absolute land. 
Wow! What are you talking about? You're four credit shy of being an NBA. What are you talking about? You just got scored on by Owen Wilson. That shot power, come on, Skov! Wait, is it Skell as well? In, in, in Swedish? Or sorry, in, uh, in Danish? You say Skell? Let's go, Lothar Matthias' son. That's what? The That's the 99 shot power right there, bro. We're about to show this guy what it feels like to be real deep inside a house. Oh, hit that dude! We're far from proving our doubters wrong. Ah, was was Mueller as a right winger? Was he was he the right play? I so badly want Skelv to work out too. God damn it! Falk Jensen. Yusuf Poulsen. Oh my dear God. Yusuf Poulsen and Leon Bailey take a bow. Hug it out, bros. Hey, headbands OP. Falk Jensen. He's the, hey, you know what? Falk Janssen might be the player of the epi so far. Outside of that play from, from Leon Bailey and the finish from Yusuf Polson to be able to put that through. That might be the best back-to-back -back execution of the body paint that I think maybe I've ever implemented. And the boys are going absolutely bonds in. The boys are going absolutely nuts. Oh! <laughs> boys! I thought that was it! Were we down 2-0 at one point in this match? I think we might have even been down 2-0 at one point in this match. We come back and I think, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we score four unanswered goals. That just goes to show how short-term my memory, how, how big of an issue my, issue my short-term memory is. That left foot, and we called it. We said he had to be the Danish Robin. Doesn't have much of a right. But from that left, whoo! My dear God. Calm down, Robert. What? I let my nuts hang, right? Respect, 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 man, respect, respect. And then I'm not gonna lie, I'm not even mad. That was an incredible, incredible match. Everything from the Thomas Muller body faint goal to to Skjov, uh, to Skjov's. Um, implementation in the game. He gets himself two goals. He gets himself an assist. So three goal contributions in a match where we score full uh, four goals. 21 out of 32 dribbles completed. A complete performance from Skov. Now, could he have could he have buried that chance there towards the end? Yeah, I guess he could have, but we played very well. 13 shots, 9 on target. Again, a match where we draw. Just, I take my, you know what? I take my hat off to my opponent. That was a very, very good, um, that was a very good match. Wizard of Ozil, bro, he had, he had Podolski. I mean, that just, that couldn't have gotten any more emotional. If you guys haven't checked the body fate tutorial, this would be a good time because we've executed, I would say... I want to do a video where I, I do a top 10 compilation of my best body paints of the year. I have to say that probably is top three. 
And I'm going to go so far as to say that Thomas Muller one that we just implemented there uh, in the previous match to get, I believe, our third goal was maybe top five as well. Yusuf Poulsen! Yikes! Hi, Denai! Just the movement, it, it's... God, it makes me so mad! It makes me so mad! What the... and Robert Skjold. Hug it out, my dudes. The Danish masterminds. Yusuf Poulsen and Robert Skjold hugging it out. Where are my Danes at in the comments? It's a silver making that pass. Can we please put a little bit of respect on his name? Ooh, off the left post! Robert Skjov! Robert Sk the Skovenator! The Skovmeister! Jeez! Legitimately, man! He, he, he executes the body feint near instantaneously. And then the le he's got the left foot of dreams. 90 plus shot power. He's got 99 shot power, 90 plus long shots. The absolute lad. I almost want to let him score. I, I'm happy he scored. I'm happy Mkhitaryan scored in the game. <laughs> God damn, dude. Just the movement, it, it's... God, it makes me so mad. It makes me so mad! He knows. He knows what he did. All right, boys, match number two, and Robert Skov gets himself the Hattie. Five total attempts, three goals. So I believe he's up to five. Is he up to five goals in two matches played? Absolute mad lad performance, and I think he has earned the right to be called a Danish not uh, uh, a Danish mad lad, not the Danish mad lad. The Danish mad lad uh, is a is a, is a, is a certified reference to that Fanta use of Poulsen card. But Skov, man, you know what? Very, very, very surprising. Uh, I don't want to say really surprising because the stats look absolutely absolutely nuts as well. But Robert Skelf, man, showing us what he's got in his locker. 100% going to recommend him as a mad lad for 69,000 coins. You could do a whole lot worse. Danish is maybe the only negative that you could say. But obviously, uh, Yusuf Poulsen, Eriksson, and then whoever you want at right back. I think Skelf is fine on 7 or 8 chem. And that right there gets you some, gets you some links. Maybe even... I'm thinking Yusuf Poulsen, Eriksson. Okay, no, no, sorry, no. Yusuf Poulsen, Delaney on the right, and then Eriksson, and then just build out whatever the hell else you want. Uh, but Skjov, man, has a very, very... Again, I don't want to say surprising because he was incredible for us. Look at this. Passes completed 9 out of 10. Dribbles completed 8 out of 14. Um, and then three goals as a mid... That was probably the most surprising part is we got three goals as a mid for him. So like I said, boys, a massive, massive double thumbs up for Robert Skelv, the record breaker card, the best card in FIFA that you didn't know about because literally it just was not promoted. People don't know that this card's in game. A lot of people on Funhead were like, for what? Like they don't know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like no one knows why he got the card. 29 goals scored in Superliga, broke the record in the Superliga uh, since it was established for uh, for goals scored in a single season. But anyway, boys, that's going to do it for the epi. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. My uh, my Danish and Scandi supporters, I know you're probably going to love this video. If you did, drop a like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, either you would have seen rewards tomorrow or yesterday. Uh, very, very much looking forward to that. Hopefully, you guys are looking forward to that epi as well. But like I said, boys, I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later, a day.